you don't have to learn to trade alone. Welcome to the Trading Lifestyle Podcast, where we interview professional currency traders and industry experts who can help you improve your trading and your life. And now, your host, Hugh Kimura. Before we get started, remember that trading is risky and you could lose all of your investment. This podcast is for educational purposes only and is not trading, tax, or investment advice of any kind. Past performance does not guarantee future results. So what are the top three books that you feel every trader should read? And they don't necessarily have to be trading books. Um, that's a really good one. I think uh, Mark Douglas has wrote a good book called Trading in the Zone. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the material that I read, like that I study now as a trader and also recommend my students to study is because once you've learned how to trade, like I could teach someone how to trade in probably a day. Mm -hmm. It's pretty simple. Um, the, the next part is just practicing that. And then... It's, it's all about your own mentality, all about your own psychology, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, like I said earlier about me with FOMO, you know, I, I've been trading 10 years and I still, not to as high a degree as I did like maybe five years ago, mm -hmm. but it's still now and again, the thought, even just the thought flashing through my head of, oh, I should just jump in here, but I'm like, no. So like keeping on top of your psychology and improving that. So trading in the zone is a good one. And there's another one, uh, a real good uh, trading psychology coach in the UK called Steve Ward. Um, and he, he trains all the, the guys at the hedge funds and the banks, basically. He's, he's the most famous um, psychology teacher in the UK. Mm -hmm. And he's got a book called High Performance Trading, which obviously goes through all that. And I, the other book I really enjoyed is Way of the Turtle by Curtis Faith. Okay, yeah. Um, you know, he's one of the turtles, uh, Richard Dennis, you know, the, the experiment in the 80s. And he was, I think he was one of the most successful ones. And that's just a really good story. Like, he gives a few trading lessons, but it's just a really cool story about his life and how it all panned out and, you know, the ups and downs. That's just a really interesting read. Okay. Thank you for listening to the Trading Lifestyle Podcast. To listen to all of the other episodes and get free access to Forex trading tools, tutorials, and resources, visit tradingheroes.com.